Hey guys, D Mike here, and welcome back to another episode of Super Mario Odyssey. Last time, we went to the Cap Kingdom. We we're able to get enough moons to open up the additional side of the moon that we'll get to eventually. But that's not for quite a ways out. As you can see, we've got all the kingdoms to explore ahead of us. If you like exploring kingdoms, if you like visiting dinosaurs, then today is the episode for you. Like the video, comment, and subscribe. Also, if you could give the other series on this channel some love. I see plenty of views for this series, which is great. I appreciate everybody enjoying this, but let's give a little bit of rah-rah for Wind Waker and some of those Super Mario, or Super Nintendo Sunday series. Well, I can't talk. I even said Wind Waker wrong. Wind Waker. Hello, can you come and watch my videos on the Wind Waker? I don't even know what that accent is. It means nothing. But, uh, yeah. Here's our first foray back into the Cascade Kingdom in probably, I don't know, like, six months? Longer? It's been a long time. We definitely want to go and get the Moon Rock. Welcome back to the Cascade Kingdom, though. Hopefully you're all doing well. This is, of course, the second kingdom of the game. The first real one that I get, that I guess you get to. Start off with a little bit of roving racing. Of course, bro. I don't know. Maybe I'm just like an old curmudgeon. But uh, I don't really like when people call me bro that aren't my brother. <laughs> I don't know what that says about me, but... I'm not a huge fan of it. It just feels like a weird, like... I mean, I guess it's kind of in the same vein as, like... Oops. The same vein as people calling each other, like... Oh, boy. Already doing poorly. Oh, boy. I don't think we're running this one. I don't have any... I don't have any cheats on this one, either, so... This one's just good old-fashioned, uh... Skidoo. Stay away from me. Yeah, I, I feel like I've really screwed the pooch on this one. Yeah, these guys are going real fast, and I am not. If I wouldn't have done that first, oh, that's this is garbage. <laughs> oh, we can't do anything. Hey, we're in the middle. Hey, we're in the middle of a race, dummy. Yeah. I don't know if it was, like, trying to cheat by going this way. But technically, I get it. Because I've been cheating <laughs> basically every time, so... I suppose I deserve that. Let's try it one more time. Oops. I would like to do that again. That's the spirit. The spirit of the bro lives within me. I feel like if I just don't do anything stupid, that I'll have a better chance. That was my problem last time, is I was just trying to be a ding-dong about it. And I feel like if you just do the classic strats, the chances of being successful here are higher. But also really... A Appreciate it if they could like get caught up on certain obstacles and stuff too. I don't know if that's a thing But you saw that the one Koopa tried to take the uh, hats The little cappy ghost hats, and I thought that was a little cheap I'm just gonna sneak right past you here Okay, so that was a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be Yeah, I uh, finished that 25 seconds faster than I did last time so realistically you don't have to try too hard. Cool. But once again, in these kingdoms, still just trying to get the 10-ish or so moons per episode. That should keep us on track for the future. But what we do get to do first is now that uh, the crazy cap is available in all kingdoms, we can wear the appropriate attire. So this is great. Of course, we can fit in with the locals. 
because humans and dinosaurs coexisted, right? The Earth's only 2,000 years old. All right, so Mario looking fresh with his dry bones hat. Of course, we can buy the customary one power moon. As stated before, that's all that I'm going to be doing in these episodes. I don't intend to cheese it. At least I don't need to yet. Have I done this? I don't think so. Nope. This is one of those things that I'm realizing in these episodes that there's a lot of, uh, a lot of moons that I didn't do anything with. I probably got a little bit caught in the weeds of like getting my explain on. And I notice I do that sometimes early in series and then when I settle in, that's when I can get real goofy for you guys, which I know that's what you came here for. I like to go back and listen to some of my older series from time to time and just kind of see how I've evolved. How I've grown. All right, can I break this? Ayo. There was one right up here. Yeah, I don't, I did not know that. And once again, I think that the majority of the moons that I'm getting out of this, oh, I did know this one, because I, I remember I completely ignored it in the second episode of the series. Let's talk to you. Tell me your secrets, dinosaur nest. Now, once again, you can go into your minus menu. I don't know if I've looked at this either. Let's do this real quick. Cascade Kingdom, Waterfalls, and Natural Treasures. The last holdout of it. No, this seems familiar. Uh, if you haven't seen it, there it is. All right, anyway. Um, as you can see, I uh, did a really poor job of getting any of the original uh, moons that are here. So, you know. Why not completely whiff on everything? We're going to grab a decent amount of these moons. And we'll do our best. This looks a little suspicious. Suspicious and delicious. But anyway, I was making a comment about my earlier series. I'm trying to be better about, like, not getting so distracted. Like, I have these ideas in my head. Of where I want to, um, take my commentary. And then I completely forget what I was saying all along, which is great. But I'm thinking about how, like, in my earlier series, one of the things that I like to do is, um... Let's check my map real quick, make sure I'm on target. Where am I? I like to, uh, I just do and I say, oops. Whoa, that was close. I do and I say things early on in series that are a little bit more, ooh, there's one up there. That are more kind of sherry. Like I basically am saying things that are informational, which is fine. I mean, like, I don't feel like there's anything wrong with that. How do I get to that? Well, I gotta go all the way up. I gotta bring it around town for this one. If I want to get that one, of course, which I will eventually. I do not know where I'm going. This looks also suspicious. What happens if I do this? Put the ball in the hole and boop. Oh, it just gets you coins? Lame, I don't want that. Screw you! But there are fossil coins up here. I don't know if this leads you to a moon. If it doesn't, then I'm going to be heckin' mad. But Link's Awakening, that's a good example of a series where I was all business. All the time. Which is fine. I think I did a pretty good job with the treatment of that series. But, I mean... I don't really feel like I brought the funny. You guys deserve the funny. Ooh, maybe that's how I get up there. This is part of, like, the race that I did. I'm just kind of going in reverse here. I do only have five power moons, though. My goal... Oop, distracted again. Is to at least get ten per episode. And as you saw, there's 25 in this one. Many of which I have neglected. I'm a bad step-parent to the power moons. But I need to step up my game. 
Oop. Is there value to this? Not really. I mean, if you enjoy killing Goombas, I guess. I'm gonna ride this as far down as I can. No, I'm not. What is the stuff falling off of the... Off the platforms? Looks like Cocoa Pebbles. Who's got their Cocoa Pebbles on my platforms? Is there something up here? Moon? No, wait. There might be a power moon over here. Oh, okay. What was the... Uh, is there a moon over here? No? Okay. Well, that's exciting. Not. Not! I do think that there is value to the various formats of Let's Playing. Whether you want to be an informative Let's Player who is highly skilled, whether you want to be a speedrunner, I guess it's not really a Let's Play. Um, but you kind of get the idea, at least. Um... I am not highly skilled or informed, so with me, you get the worst of both worlds. How does that sound, viewers? Good? Of course it does. I just like to have fun with these games. Um, this is not meant to be anything more than just a way to have fun and decompress with your boy Demike. That's literally all I'm here for. Ooh, there's something up here. Ooh, I almost made it. There's gotta be something up there, right? I would have to zoom. I just jumped a little bit too late. And it did. And it did. Ooh, okay. You gotta jump when you can barely see it, if at all. And it did. And it did. I don't think you can hesitate. Nope. You can't hesitate for one gosh dang second. You just gotta go for it. Gotta go for the gold. And you can't even see the platform. Alright. Ugh. See, that one I did do it right. Sort of. I just... I didn't hold over on the go right button. There we go. Moon up here? There better be a moon up here. Unless this is just gonna spit me out. Is this just for... Oh my gosh. Game, are you kidding me? That's just for coins? That is... All kinds of booty. Ooh, there's a moon. How do I get there? How do I get down there? Is this a ride it to the bottom kind of a thing? This looks like death. What? How on earth do you do that? How in the gosh dang Cascade Kingdom do you do that? I don't know. I, I guess I can try to figure it out, but I really don't know what I'm doing. Get this one at least. I'm honestly, uh, I'm kind of, I'm like kind of comp concerned. How do I? No, I don't mean to jump back in that. Stop it. It's almost like there's like a hidden pathway. Maybe it's from the other side. I don't know. Looks like I could see it. Oh, I see. I oh, I see. I think I've made that joke before. I'm on to you, game. I know what you're doing. I'm I'm smelling what you're stepping in. All right, here we go. These are easy moons to pick up. This is why you should do them. You're gonna need this Koopa here. Can I wall jump? <laughs> no, of course not. Break these, and then you need this boy here. Hello. Whoa. There you go. And then this will open this up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Run. You're never gonna catch me. All right. That's a nice little touch. Get out of my house. Oops, I'm stuck. There we go. And you just kind of warp back to where you were. That's a nice little touch. I'm kind of curious what the extra additional moons will be. I have to hit the bonus block, of course, though, to find that up. We did it. Okay, I felt pretty good about that. Gra grabbed a couple of easier moons. 
Here's Mario 3D World Peach in her cat suit. That's a great game, by the way, if you haven't played that. Would recommend. Obviously more fun with friends. And then there's the bonus Bowser's Fury that I've never played because I played so much, oh boy. I played so much of the original um, that by that point I didn't really have interest, I guess, in playing more of it. If I ever corral a group of people together who in some capacity would like to play that game, maybe, but yeah, I don't... It's one of those games that when you play... I, I played it mercilessly back in the day. Who is speaking? Without being spoken to. So, oh, there's a moon over here. See, these are moons that I very easily neglected the first time where I did not even pay any attention to this. It wouldn't have really changed anything because I didn't need a ton to unlock the other side of the moon. But, you know, I mean, actually I did. That's a lie. Hello, Peach. Peach and Tiara, of course. That big waterfall, you big dummy. That's what she wanted to say. You fool. Come here to play when you were little. What? No, you didn't. That is a bold-faced lie, Peach. I don't believe that at all. What are you talking about? All right. We come up here. I Once again, I don't... Wait. Oh, I got distracted. Let's do two things. While I'm already up here, I feel like that would be a waste to go and take the rip cord. There's a lot going on up here. What are you doing? You are lost. Hey, that's me! Yeah, you literally can just get a moon from uh, doing this. Very cool. Someday you'll take up. Maybe you will. Don't let your dreams be dreams. All right, here we go. Here is the bonus block. Hit it with your Skyward Strike. Okay, I don't care about this. Skip. Yeah, that adds a whole lot more. Um, why did I have a two on it? That I have no clue whether or not these moons are current or they are from the last time that I was here because I am stupid. So I'm actually doing pretty well here. We're about halfway-ish through the episode and I feel pretty content with my moon moon cum cumulation yes words okay here's another timer challenge what do you have for me okay, doesn't look too bad looks like stairs if I can screw this up oops using all my skills to pay my bills got it the timer challenge to you And there's a moon right here. Why is there a moon here? Is this the one that I was looking at before? I could have sworn I saw... I guess maybe the moon that I saw around the corner on the cliff. That might have been the one from uh, before. Ooh, viewers, you know how good I am with these? With my excellent depth perception. Okay. <laughs> Next to the stone arch. Yeah, that was brutal. Um... Hopefully I never have to endure that again. That was miserable. Okay. There's none of these. Yeah, I don't know if these are accessible early in the game or if this is... something you get accustomed to doing in the post game. I got nothing. I don't remember these things being here, so I would say... there's a good chance that these are all post-game specific, but don't take my word for it. But dun, dun. It's a reading rainbow joke for those of you who uh, were children at one point in your lives. Okay, this is a really tough thing to... Oh boy. Oh, I committed. Uh, I just want to hit you. There we go. That didn't seem like that was very fair. Okay. Yeah, those are timed, by the way, so if you don't get off those platforms... In a Jeff, you are in big T trouble. Okay. Uh, can I throw the cat further at some point? I don't know. 
No, please. Oh, thank goodness. That's another moon. I'm actually crushing the amount of moons. I am well over the amount that I said I was going to get. The requisite 10 that I initially propositioned you all for. This is going to be a long jump. Whee! Literally and figuratively. I mean, actually there was nothing There was nothing figurative about that. I don't know why I said that. It most certainly was a long jump. Okay, I think if you shake the pro controller, the pro controller, remember that. Show some respect. I think that gives you a little bit further of a cap throw, maybe. Ooh, this is going to be trick or treats. Who missed the spooky season already? Me. It's already the first week of November. November, which is a much less cool month than October for reasons. Makes me kind of sad. I never really, oops, that's death. I don't ever really feel like I take advantage of spooky season as much as I'd like to. I mean, I did go to a couple Halloween parties this year, which was fun. I enjoyed that. The downside was that one of them was with people that I work with. Don't love that, but, um, you know, the party itself was nice. It's always important to go and Enjoy the company of the people that you have a career alongside, I suppose. I'm just being resentful. It was actually a very nice party. And I got to wear my Super Mario Brothers onesie. If you know me in real life, let me know and I will send you a picture. Okay. Almost done with this area. Oof. I do not feel comfortable with any of this. Oh, I got it that time. Whee! Yeah. Th yeah, this is... This is like making my stomach drop a little bit just doing this. Oh, come on. Yeah, you, you basically have to do the extendo cap throw if you want it. It probably doesn't hurt to wait till the... Oh, I did the same thing again! Oh, viewers, I'm sorry! I mean, I've already hit my 10 moons, so I don't really feel so bad. But I would like to show you as much as I can. And then, of course, in the next episode, you'll be getting to see probably a good bulk of the... Um, good bulk of the power moons that are accessible via... Oh, no. That's a dumb way to die. Accessible via the Skyward Block. I'm really not enjoying this now. This is one of those things where I, I think after I die like twice, my enthusiasm wilts and I have no sugar for this. But I do like that Mario is a caveman. That makes me happy. Whoa. I don't really remember all the tips and tricks on how to do the fancy cap moves. I need to figure those out someday. You know, we're only like, I don't know, 27 or so episodes into this series, right? Why not? Why not just completely ignore the majority of mechanics in this game? I do not know how I how I survived that one. There we go. Oh no. Oof. This is giving me anxiety. What better way to play a Mario game than very anxious? Okay. Ooh, I was not looking. That was very nerve-wracking. Was that a homing attack with my hat? All right, let's do this right. No fancy business here. Okay. Yeah, I think some of these, maybe some of these moons are like halfway. Um, some of them are halfway post-game, sort of. What am I trying to say? Uh... Like, some of them are Skyward Block, some of them are, um, some of them are post-game. I don't, did I want to go down here? Oh, there's one right there. I didn't even notice this. I guess they took it out for the race. That makes sense. That's an easy moon to get. Oh, almost forgot that you have to climb down. Oops. I, mean, I feel pretty good about this. How many? I got 
16? That's six additional moons beyond what you normally get, viewers? Have I been this way? I don't know. I would like to see what's in this pipe. I'm gonna hit this pipe real quick. Where does this take me? Ooh, this looks new. Or maybe this isn't new. I don't know. I remember this though. Like I, I, I remember this from maybe my casual playthrough. When I was being super cash. This seems familiar though. But that's where my brain is tricking me. Because I can't figure out why it's familiar to me. Do you gotta play a little bit of bumper ball here? Smash your balls together? As every person should do at some point in their life. Is there like a... I feel like there's going to be a sneaky sneaky in here somewhere. Maybe not. Whoa! And boop. Okay, not even close. At least the game resets for you. That's really nice. Get to just hit it just right. There we go. Nice. Oh, I didn't do this one. Okay, very good. This was a casual memory. Hooray! Oops. Hopefully this spits me out somewhere high. It doesn't. Great. Um, I'm just trying to figure out what's left that I can accomplish reasonably fast here in the next, like, two or three minutes. There's still the moon up there, which to me is reminiscent of the, um, can I climb that? It's reminiscent of the, uh, the Thwomp Kingdom or Thwomp, whatever it's called. Thwomp's, I don't even know. I'm getting my Mario's mixed up. The Thwomp Fortress from Mario 64, where you have to use the bird. Okay, let's try this. Let's shake our pro controller faster. Let's go all the way up here. Is this all this does? Oh, I got excited. I thought this was actually going to be help me get up to that spot. It doesn't. I do not know how to get up there. But she was talking nonsense about the falls and the... Is there one up here? Like... Something within the Triceratops head. I don't know. Oh, wait, there. Ooh, oh, wait. This is pretty sweet looking, huh? Look at that. Don't mind me. Not doing this for any reason. Just gonna give the old spin a Rooney. That's a cool final moon to get. Guarded by a colossal fossil. A giant old person. All right. I feel pretty good about that. I think this is where we will call it quits, and we will come back next time for more Cascade Kingdom. Thanks for watching, everybody. I've been Dean Mike. This has been Super Mario Odyssey, and I'll see you next time for more. Bye.